So I'm gonna go over one of Photoshop's AI tools. It's called Generative Expand. It's one of my favorites, and I'm gonna go over why it blew my mind. Make sure and like and subscribe. So we're gonna be going over Generative Expand, one of Photoshop's AI tools. And I think it's gonna be a game changer. Here's why. So I need a little bit more image on the right hand side here because I have this image in a layout where I have some copy that's going on the right hand side. So normally I might expand my canvas, rover step my way through it, but now there's generative expand. So the first thing you wanna do is make sure you have your image and you haven't expanded your canvas at all. The next thing you wanna do is go over to the crop tool. So down below there are some different presets for different aspect ratios. I'm gonna leave mine as is because I just want to expand to the right. Now I'm gonna hit generative expand. And keep in mind you don't have to add a prompt in here. You can just hit generate. So you can see that it's trying to put some other object on here that I don't want. But there are different variations. So I found one I like. And there is this tool to up res and enhance the detail of an object if you want to. There are three options here and I like this the most. Look at how perfect that is. It filled in everything the way I wanted it. This is gonna be a serious time saver. One of the other options here is to straighten an image. So let's say I wanted to rotate this car so it was flat. You just drag from one end to the other and it rotates it so that's your flat surface. So one thing you want to make sure of is that you have actually moved the crop marks because if you haven't and you try and hit generative expand, it will come up with an error. So one thing I wanted to check on was to see if the generative expand would work on more than one layer and it does not. So for instance, I have another, I have two layers of this image, one with a different background, and both of these backgrounds are generative filled in the background. So I thought maybe it would expand everything, but if let's say I want to do a 16 by nine and I expand my canvas, and then I hit generative expand and generate. So you can see it filled out the rest of my canvas for this layer, but it didn't do it to my other layers. So one thing you could do is select the layer and select the inverse and then do a generative fill. So that worked out perfect, but you need to do that for each of your layers. So keep that in mind if you're using generative expand. So I have this image of myself with a generative fill background and we're going to expand the canvas with the crop tool and we're going to do a prompt to add something in. So keep in mind that you can continue to hit generate and it will come up with different options. And you can keep doing this as you expand your image. So I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial on Generative Expand. It's a great tool and I just know it's gonna save you time.